Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the benefit of international students to the uh, United States economy. And we have with us to talk about the benefit of uh, the United States economy to uh, the fact that international students have selected uh, some of the uh, universities and colleges in the United States to attend, that this has a tremendous impact upon the economies of many areas. And of course, Dr. Madhu, let's uh, have you to uh, start us off by talking about uh, some of the uh, things that you believe to be important in reference to this topic. Mm. Well, this is a very interesting topic, you know, and uh, at this particular time, you know, when we are, several schools are trying to become more internationalized, mm -hmm. this is an appropriate time to, you know, discuss the impacts or the pros and cons mm -hmm. of having foreign students in our midst. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a, some mis, you know, information mm -hmm. about really the economic impact mm -hmm. or the benefits of having international students mm -hmm. in schools or in this country, you know. Most people think, well, you know, these students they just come in here, get all the scholarships and all the goodies and they don't bring anything, mm -hmm. you know, they just come to benefit from our country and go. But the opposite, you know, is quite the truth. Mm -hmm. In the last fiscal year, international students contributed 20 point two billion dollars mm. to the US economy. Twenty point two billion dollars to the United States economy. Exactly. Twenty point <laughs> two billion dollars to the US economy. Out of the twenty point two billion dollars, direct tuition, you know, school fees and other things for the students alone contributed about nineteen point seven billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Then expenses from their Dependents, you know, a lot of these foreign students have wives, mm -hmm. children, cousins, nephews who are with them. So also they spend too, you know, mm -hmm. that added another about 300,000 again from, you know, 300 million from the dependents. Mm -hmm. Add the two, it gives you $20.2 .2 billion mm -hmm. in, in, in economic benefits to, you know, the United States. Tennessee benefited 158 million. In the state of Tennessee alone. In the state of Tennessee alone, mm -hmm. $158 million, you know, from international students. International students. Exactly, from international students. Within, you know, Nashville, the Nashville area, you know, when we talk of Nashville area, talk of Mount Juliet and some of this, mm -hmm. out of that has about 50 million from foreign students in the mm -hmm. Nashville area. Mm -hmm. And the Knoxville area has about 40 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Memphis area is about 45 million. Mm -hmm. In Chattanooga area is about 35 million. Then, you know, Johnson City area, Sewanee area, Cookville and that area too contribute. So it gives you about 158 million mm -hmm. from foreign students to the Tennessee. From the, to the state of Tennessee. Yes. To the that's, a, that's an awful lot of money. That, exactly. that, but I think that's all almost a, a unrecognized uh, uh, situation because That's correct. Uh -huh. that one gave you 158 million mm -hmm. you know for the state alone now where do most of these foreign students come from mm -hmm. majority of them came from about five countries you know uh, China number one with about 157 thousand mm -hmm. students India with about a hundred and three thousand mm -hmm. students then you have South Korea Canada and Taiwan mm -hmm. these are the first five Mm -hmm. you know, in the number of international students mm -hmm. that come to the United mm -hmm. States. Nigeria is the only African country on, you know, that produces a lot. Mm -hmm. 7,000 students is 18th mm -hmm. out of 25. Nigeria gets about mm -hmm. 7,000 students to the United States. Mm -hmm. In Tennessee, you have about 6,300,000 ,000 foreign students. I mean, 6,300 foreign students mm -hmm. in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. You know, a majority of them come from China, India, Malaysia, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. and Taiwan mm -hmm. for, for Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Now the total figures of foreign students in the United States now is about 737,000 mm -hmm. foreign students. Three quarters of a million. Exactly, uh -huh. in the United States now. Mm -hmm. and Tennessee has about 6,300 of them. Mm -hmm. The largest schools 
you know, about five schools top the numbers in foreign students. Mm -hmm. University of Southern California mm -hmm. in Los Angeles has about 8,000 mm -hmm. foreign students. And then second, you have University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Mm -hmm. Third, you know, you have New York University. Mm -hmm. Fourth, Purdue University. Mm -hmm. Fifth, Columbia University. Okay, Dr. Mm -hmm. Madhu, let's take this first commercial break and we'll come back and pick up mm -hmm. at that point. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. second segment of the show for today.